there's a lot of technology companies which uh, either are really good on the hardware side or really good on the software side. We wanted to tackle it all. So we built um, probably one of the most battle-proven hardware in our space, which needs to survive in all kinds of environment from very cold Sweden to you know very hot environment here in the Middle East. Um, then um, need to handle all the cloud um, and software technology around it because if you think about that you send every five minutes a signal, you start collecting billions of data points uh, within a month. So you need to become really good in collecting the data, storing the data, processing the data. And with that comes a third competency and that's data analytics, you know, which is very often considered to be um, you know, the new gold, the gold, um, uh, everything you can create around um, data, um, data, the power of data. So I would say, you know, this is a very global space. You cannot just focus on one single market because all our clients are, you know, globally acting. The world is moving close and closer. It's not just one transport mode. But it's very much moving from rail to ships to um, to trailers to lorries uh, to air, etc. Obviously, we have a strong nucleus out of Europe and the U.S., and we're currently also moving into the Middle East. And you know, part of this partnership is helping us to expand in this region. If you think about that, some of the biggest uh, logistic companies in the world and some of the most modern infrastructure is out of this region. pretty much like a little chess game because you know very often we're inventing new technologies and with those new technologies you actually um, educate um, also the sea levels in our space. If you think about it you know most of the logistic companies today are really concentrating on two topics. One is very much on the efficiency side, they're trying to optimize their fleets um, and then the second part is, you know, it's transparency. You want to know, and we all read um, in, the, in the newspapers, you know, ships which got stuck, etc. You want to know where in the world your cargo is, and this can only be achieved with technology. There's probably a third component which will also, um, you know, be derived from technology, and that's the entire sustainability area. You can only drive down global CO2 levels if you start measuring how much consumption you have. So very often today, you know, a full container is being moved from, um, uh, from one location to another location and it comes empty back. The only way to actually optimize that is by using technology. The combination of what you mentioned, so our Globe Popper product range and the Nexo Connect software platform enables our clients in logistics to actually cover a variety of use cases, starting from the most basic track and trace, where are my logistic assets, and then by definition, where is my cargo, all the way to you know alerts around, has something happened to my cargo, like was a door opened of a container uh, where it should not have been because someone is trying to steal, or has a temperature change occurred that might be damaging the cargo or be otherwise detrimental to uh, delivering the product. And these use cases, I would say, are quite global. So they apply just the same here in the Middle East as well. And it's really just about bringing transparency into both the operations of our clients, so the cargo owners and operators, um, as well as then also adding these additional uh, use cases where they can also have commercial use cases to share that information with their customers and their clients. And I think that's really the full package that we can then tailor specifically to our clients, be it here in the Middle East or in our other regions where we operate. Sensors are really just an extension of our Globe Hopper and, uh, and software platform uh, as, a, as a whole solution, let's say. The sensors usually target very specific aspects of the transport assets or the cargo condition. So um, I would mention temperature as being a very obvious one. With a temperature monitor, you can make sure that your cargo stays within a certain range that you can define according to what properties the cargo has. 
um, or another one would be the load monitor which is just a sensor that tells you is a container empty or full is a rail car filled up for example and that helps you then to solve use cases around operating a fleet um, being able to dispatch uh, certain logistic assets as soon as they're filled up detecting an overload for example so as you can see the sensor itself just represents measuring condition and then around that condition you can build additional use cases depending on what the client actually needs and how it can uh, how we can help them optimize their operations either way we want to uh, see us ourselves as a global company so uh, we want to target as many markets as we can and specifically the middle east in particular dubai actually has always been a trade hub throughout the centuries and I think it's really um, representative of you know linking the east and the west and you know that shows in the kind of companies that are located here with the Jebel Ali port as well and lots of logistic players that are based out of Dubai and out of the Middle Eastern region in general and so that makes it very attractive for us and a very natural fit and I would add um, to, the, to the second part of the question, why the seed group for this? I think um, at the beginning it came up as an opportunistic uh, introduction and um, we did not know enough yet about the seed group but then throughout our discussions we discovered the level of professionalism, the level of knowledge around this area and obviously the vast network that it has with the private office of uh, Sheikh Maktoum in the background uh, that just allows us to get a head start into this market and really leverage our technology portfolio, our capabilities and Seed's knowledge in the local market uh, with their local partners, with their local network. And so we just think this is an amazing fit and we're very much looking forward to working together. Obviously, this is a bit of an audacious goal, let's say, a very visionary aspect of what we aim for. Um, but nonetheless, logistics is one of the main polluters in today's world. So one of the main um, causes for CO2 emission, actually. And we believe that with our solutions, we don't just make our clients better in every aspect and allow them to optimize their operations but at the end of the day that also means optimizing logistics as a whole uh, and that means fewer trips being necessary fewer empty loads uh, going around the globe and ultimately that just needs to making logistics more efficient and then by definition also less co2 emitting and that's what's behind that, as I said, audacious goal in a sense. Um, and we really uh, work on that in all, all levels, but always through making our clients better and through improving their operations. I think our ultimate mission is to bring transparency and safety into the global supply chain on all levels that you can envision. And as I said previously, the MENA region or the GCC or, you know, the, the region around uh, the UAE uh, is really a central focal point of global logistics. And so for us, if we truly want to make a difference on a global scale, this has to be one of the elements, this has to be one of the target markets that we want to address to bring these aspects like reliability, safety, sustainability even into the global supply chain.